सब्सक्राइब नाउ एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन नेवर मिस एन अपडेट हेलो दिस वीडियो विल गिव यू सेक्शन वाइज समरी ऑफ द पोएम अलेक्जेंडर्स फीस्ट रिटन बाय जॉन ड्राइडन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स हैव अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन टू द पोएम अलेक्जेंडर्स फीस्ट इज अ पोएम रिटन बाय जॉन ड्राइडन इन 1697 It's an ode that celebrates the power of music and its ability to move and influence human emotions. The poem is inspired by the ancient Greek conqueror Alexander the Great and his feast in the Persian city of Persepolis. The narrative of the poem revolves around a musical performance at Alexander's banquet. Timotheus, a musician and poet, is depicted singing and playing the lyre. evoking various emotions in alexander and his guests the music is transformative to effects on the listeners reflect the power of art to shape and control human passions the poem is often praised for its rich imagery lyrical beauty and the way it captures the essence of the baroque period the poem explores the themes of music power and the fleeting nature of fame in alexander's feast creating a vivid and dramatic portrayal of the influence of art on the human soul let us now look at the summary of section 1 at a royal feast celebrating a victory in persia the heroic son of philip alexander sits on his majestic throne his brave companions adorned with roses and myrtles surround him theas a beautiful woman sits beside him like a joyful eastern bride The poem emphasizes the idea that only the brave deserve such happiness and beauty. Summary of section 2. Timotheus in the midst of a musical group plays the lyre skillfully, creating enchanting notes that reach the sky and inspire heavenly joy. The song starts with Joe and depicts the powerful influence of love. It describes how Joe transformed into a dragon to approach Olympia, leaving an uh, image of himself around her waist. The crowd is captivated by the majestic sound, considering it a divine presence. People shout that there is a god among them as the king, hearing the glorious sound, pretends to be a deity, nodding and making it seem like he is shaking the entire world. Summary of section 3. The poet sings about praising Bacchus, the cheerful and youthful god of wine. The poem describes Bacchus in a triumphant arrival, celebrating with music and trumpets. Bacchus is depicted as fair and young, and the poem highlights the joy and pleasure associated with drinking, considering it a treasure and a source of delight, especially after enduring pain. Summary of section 4. The soothing music makes the king feel proud, relieving his victories. However, the wise musician notices the king's growing madness and changes the tune to a sad one. He sings about the great and good Darius, who faced a harsh fate, fallen from his high position and abandoned in his time of need. The victorious king, now joyless, sits with a changed heart, reflecting on the unpredictable twists of fate. and occasionally sigh with tears in his eyes summary of section 5 the skilled musician notices that the king is now inclined towards love he uses gentle music to calm the king's soul the musician sings about the challenges of war and the impetuousness of honor emphasizing the importance of enjoying life he mentions the lovely theas encouraging the prince to appreciate the pleasures the gods provide The crowd applauds and though love is celebrated it is music that truly wins overwhelmed by love and wine the defeated prince finally finds solace by resting on theas's breast summary of section 6 in this section the golden lyre is being played again louder and louder to wake the king from sleep with a thunderous sound the king startled looks around as if waking from the dead Timotheus calls for revenge, conjuring images of furies, hissing snakes, and vengeful Grecian ghosts. The ghostly warriors demand vengeance for their unburied comrades. The princes eagerly support the call for revenge, and the king, filled with zeal, takes a torch to destroy the Persian abhorrence. 
thus leads the way likened to another Helen igniting a new Troy. Summary of Section 7 Long ago, before bellows blew and organs played, Timotheus used his flute and lad to stir emotions. Then came Cecilia, the inventor of the vocal frame, expanding the limits of music with her creativity. She enhanced solemn sounds with a blend of natural talent and new arts. The poet suggests Timotheus should concede the prize or share it, acknowledging his skill in elevating mortals, while Cecilia brought the divine down, drawing an angel with her music.